Welcome back 7 Days to Die modding fans, this is Zith. And today we're going to talk about uh, another tool that is in the modding toolkit called the, uh, Univer the Unity Asset Bundle Extractor or UABE. Now this tool is very useful for extracting assets out of the game uh, for use in uh, Unity for templates or um, to make new sound files etc uh, etc. Et so let's go ahead and get started with that. If you don't have a copy of UABE Scroll, um, go to the forum website, look at our post on the 7 Days to Die SDX Tutorial Modding Kit. Scroll down to where it says SDX Modding Kit. Click there, that will download a zip file for you, which you can then install. If you have a question about how to do the install, we've um, that's covered on the tutorial guide uh, right here under SDX Tutorial. And again, it will show you the initial setup and how to do that. So assuming you've already done that, let's go ahead and... Um, go run that executable. I have installed it as the tutorial says to the SDX modding directory under UABE and the executable is asset bundle extractor.exe so let's click on that. Once that launches it will now um, be an empty dialog here so we want to go ahead and, and open up an asset file that will contain um, something that we want. Let, let's go ahead and pull out um, interesting things related to the machete uh, that's used in the game. So we'll click on file and then click on open and then we want to go ahead and go to our working copy of the game which we previously installed in SDX modding game and in our game working directory. Now in here, there's various different um, asset files to look at in the game, but today we're going to look at the main one, which is under 7 Days to Die Data, and it is called resources.assets. So we'll double-click that, and that will start up the program, and I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it, and here we go. All right, so in the left column here, we have the name of the asset that we found in that asset file. Lots of different assets in here and the type of asset right here as well. So if we pull this thing and scroll down, you'll see that there are materials, there's tech 2D textures, there are um, shaders, animation clips, audio clips, and meshes, and so on and so forth. So the easiest way to find what you want is to do a search. So let's go ahead and click on view search by name. Make note that there is function three is to continue search because we're going to want to pull a couple different things uh, related to the machete out of here. But first, let's search by name. We click on that, it'll pop up a little box, and we want to click in machete. Now, you can use the while card to um, preface and postface the, um, the word that you type in, so it'll just search for that string within the name. But we know um, it, how to spell machete, so. We'll just go ahead and type that in and click OK. And you notice it highlighted down here the first occurrence it found. That's a material file. Now, UAB right now has built in plugins to extract some things and not others. It's a work in progress. There'll be more plugins that are developed over time. But right now, it can do um, 2D textures, it can do meshes, it can do um, audio files, and so on and so forth. So let's find a few. It does not do a material. How I know that if I click on machete and then I come over to click on plugins, there'll be no plugin. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to hit F3 to go to the next occurrence of machete. Here we have right here. It's a t texture 2D. Right there, two dimensional texture. I want that. I want to see what that looks like. So now I'll click on plugin. And now I have some options. We can export to a, ta a, t a target file. A PNG file or we can directly edit that um, texture in this application. We're going to click on export to PNG and say OK. Now I'm going to put that um, in my modding directory in my temp folder. You can put it anywhere you want your desktop and I'm going to call this machete.png and I will save that. Let's move this a bit out of the way here, and we'll go take a look at that just real quick to make sure it worked uh, as we wanted it to. And there is the machete texture that is built into the game. All right, we'll close out of that. Let's go see what else we can find about the machete in here. So I'm going to press back to get 
uh, on the asset info and press function 3 again and down the bottom here right there it says machete.mesh alright that's uh, that'll be real useful in unity so again we're going to click on the plugins and now it gives me a single option export to a dot obj file which can be then um, natively imported into unity we'll click on that and I'm going to save that to the same temp directory again and it's already a machete dot obj and save that now I'm not going to bring that into to um, uh, Unity, that's a different tutorial, but again, you would just go to import asset and find that OBJ file and pull it right in and then you can work with it. And you also have the texture to put on it as well. So um, you're pretty much uh, there to start making your own version of a machete. So let's go back here to see if there's anything else related to the machete. And no results are found. So we're done there. Uh, before we finish, let's go ahead and pull an audio clip out. Um, to do that, I think uh, there's different ones in here. Uh, if we want to do the uh, open a bridge, Hulk attack, turret fire, open a vehicle. Well, we all know the open vehicle sound, so let's go ahead and grab that one there. So again, I highlight it. I go to plugins, different plugin here, export sound. Click OK. And again, I'm going to use my temp directory. And you can see it says open vehicle dot wave file. I'll save that. And if we click on that, it makes that interesting sound. Okay. So basically, that's um, the, the much of what you can do with this tool. There are other things. We'll cover that in a more advanced video at another time. But uh, for those of you that asked me for a video on how to get started with this, I hope you'll find that helpful. Thanks, and have a great day.